Assassin's Creed Mirage is set in 9th century Baghdad, at a time when the city had grown to become one of the biggest, richest, and most advanced in the world. The Abbasid Empire, the largest of its time, reached from modern Algeria to present-day India. It's also a time of scientific discovery that left a strong impact on our modern cultures. We started our research on Baghdad very early on, and the more we learned, the clearer it became that this city was a perfect setting for our game. At the time, Baghdad was the center of the world, a vibrant, lively city, and one that would make the perfect playground for the aspiring assassins. Rebuilding Baghdad was not going to be an easy task, though. Unlike previous Assassin's Creed games, almost nothing from the time period has survived to the present day. But we still wanted to be sure to do everything we could to be respectful of the culture and history of the city. That's the Assassin's Creed way. We had to give our art team the freedom to recreate Baghdad from scratch with nothing but the historical information we had from the time period. Like Guy Le Strange books, Baghdad during the Abbasid Caliphate, but also description by medieval travelers, archaeological findings from neighboring cities, and other buildings from the time that are still standing. But we weren't alone on this journey. We worked with experts, like Dr. Glare Anderson, specialist in Islamic art and history during the Caliphal period, who helped us with the world art, or Dr. Raphael Whalen, Ubisoft Montreal historian. Ninth century Baghdad is a lost city, a city that we reconstructed using text and archaeology. From this material, the team created four major districts defining the city, each with distinct looks and crowds. Abbasiyeh is the cultural hub of Baghdad, where you can find the House of Wisdom. This is where scholars, philosophers, scientists and astronomers gather and transmit knowledge from the entire empire and beyond. The market district of Kah, where large crowds gather to do business, bargain or trade goods from China, Constantinople and Spain. The industrial district of Arbiye is a dense, grimy part of the city, where slavers, orphans, thugs and workers try to scrape a living. And finally, at the center of it all, we have the seat of power in the region, the iconic round city, also known at the time as Madinat Salam, the city of peace. Behind its walls lie lush gardens, fountains, and a magnificent caliphal palace. I saw Baghdad as a child without ever going back. So seeing the city come together from its first white blocks to the final assets was an unforgettable experience. I remember having chills the day we added the correct lightning. Seeing the sky, the dust in the atmosphere, the sun and shadows. From dusk to dawn, we put a great care into making each hour of the day feel distinct so we could really immerse players in the world. And if you pay attention, you can even hear the Adhan, the Muslim call to prayer as you approach the mosque. We're not just exploring a new setting in the Assassin's Creed universe, we're also going to give players the chance to meet some of the key figures in Baghdad at the time. Authenticity and accuracy are always important to us whenever we deal with real-life historical characters, and it's no different in Mirage. We have the Banu Musa, genius inventors of the era, who made massive contributions to the science of mechanics. Of course, in Mirage, they'll be putting that knowledge to use to help Basim and the Hidden Ones. When most players think of Baghdad, they imagine the dusty, ruined landscape from movies and first-person shooters. But we felt it was important to show a different side to the city, one that celebrated its broad cultural heritage. The tales of Baghdad are short, narrative side quests, touching on key cultural subjects from the time period, like astronomy or literature. We also created the History of Baghdad feature, Designed as a throwback to the original codex from the first Assassin's Creed games, players will have a chance to explore the game world, to learn more about the people, landmarks and events essential to Baghdad's history. It felt important to share the historical knowledge that went into the making of the game and to accompany the player in their discovery of the city. We crafted the content with historians and local experts to help tackle some common cliches about the region and its culture. We're recreating the bustling, urban feel of the original games. We have larger crowds in Mirage, which offer more opportunities to blend in at street level, especially in dense areas like markets. With Baghdad being home to multiple religions and cultures, 
You'll see the diversity in clothes, languages and iconography. Baghdad is not the only location you'll be able to explore in the game. We have a great diversity of biomes around the city, each with their own unique look and feel. And of course, we have the home base of the Assassins, set at the bottom of the fortress of Alamut, a unique location in our lore and one we can't wait for players to discover. When we first announced the game, we had so many enthusiastic reactions from players all around the world, particularly players from the Arabic world and with Arabic heritage which made us especially proud. We can't wait for you to explore the beautiful world we have recreated when you join Basim on his upcoming adventure.